Well, we made it to the woods. I'm excited for this one. I've been I've been looking forward to this one for a while. There is one thing in particular that I am also really excited about. And hopefully we can see it while we're up here. Um, but start of our journey, I think it's going to be 13, 13.4 miles that we're going to end up doing on the bike. Um, and the way everything looks, it looks like everything's pretty um, well marked. So that's a good thing. But I got a long day ahead of me. So let's get on the trail. Do I want to chance it? Uh, of course I do. Can't tell if I just got my foot soaking wet or not. We'll take less chances next time. I read up on this before I came out here. I said there's multiple water crossings. So, being wet is probably going to be well forecasted in this. And I did the right thing and left extra socks in the car. So, yeah. It was a beautiful drive down here. Or, yeah, down here. This is gonna be one of my most, most miles I've done in a single trip. I think any time before this is around like 11 miles, so it's not too much further, but good thing is I'm starting the day out early. So essentially I have all, all day to knock this out. Yeah, nice water right there. Then I head to New York. Well, here we go with water crossing number two. I'm gonna walk the bike on this one because if I fall on this water, it's gonna make for a long trip. I'm using all trails right now for GPS purposes. Let's see here. Yep, so this is my first intersection, so I'm gonna go where you are pointed right at the sky. But I'm gonna be headed that direction. Ooh, another crossing. This one doesn't look like there's too many rocks for me to do my thing. Let's go over this way. Which sides of the bike? I was told that it's a very bony trail in sections, so I'm gonna take my time going up this one. It's kind of walk up. Here. It's really hard for me to stay focused on knocking out this trail when there's beautiful sights like this. Thank God. I could spend hours up here. I mean, I'm going to just because this bike ride's gonna take me a while, but man. So the whole point of this trip is to keep on knocking out my list of hitting the high point of every state. Now, with me being on the bike, I won't be able to hit the highest point, which is Mount Rogers. But I can come within uh, 400 feet in elevation between what I can do on these bike trails and compared to if I hiked. Uh, the hike is, I think it was 10 something miles. 
which I could do is just, I can climb up a mountain easily. It's coming back down that my, my legs just don't, they don't like it. It's quite painful. So that's why I'm using the bike route. It's a little bit longer, but I'll spend less time and it's less stress on my legs. It'll be worth it in the end. Look at that guy. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you're seeing it. Huh? He's just chilling there. That is pretty cool. That's not what I came up here to see, but that is definitely a bonus that I was not expecting. Now I'm not gonna mess with it. Just check it out for a minute. Those horns look pretty, he's pretty hefty. It's pretty cool. Here's some more in the distance. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of them right there. <laughs> Little baby guy. I'm gonna leave you on this post so you can enjoy the view, listen to the birds while I figure out where I am. Luckily, the bike's doing a good job about climbing. Ooh, it keeps going. Not fun. All right. This is gonna be fun. It is beautiful out. Yeah, the sun's not shining as bright as it can, but that breeze just feels amazing. Uh oh, hit an intersection. Do a pan, a pan, a pan around so you can see everything. Let's go. This is so awesome. A little bit nervous over there. I like some good storm clouds rolling in. I wasn't supposed to be up here till Friday or another day, but got some things done early, which works out pretty good because uh, this was almost a wash coming up to these mountains. Because tomorrow it's supposed to, it's a very high chance of good amount of rain. So really did not want to do this in the pouring rain. So I would have put a rain check on it. Oh man, did I get lucky. Woo! Get some downhill action in. I guess not much. Better than nothing. I 
is a smooth trail. Oh, mud in the mouth. Oh, that's deep. That's, that's deep. Oh, good. All right. This might be one of the coolest things. It's either going to go in one or two directions. I guess direction number one, which I won't. Main reason why I was excited to do this trip. Oh yeah. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. Let's see if they'll let me sneak on by. But ever since I figured this out in Virginia, that they have wild horses, I've always wanted to see them. This is awesome. See? Just passing through, that's all. This is awesome. They're pretty small. As I fall, this is cool. That was awesome. Hundred percent worth the trip. All right, I got to figure out where I'm going next. I'm not far from the horses that are like right behind me. There's a nice little fire pit here, so. It is, it is beautiful out here. I'm just expecting Kevin Costner to just come through the woods real quick. yell at me because I'm on his land or something. Why do they make these packages so hard? I'm hungry. Let me in. Oh, thank God. Sharper, I don't, my orange. I don't know why I had to see it decide to leave it in the car. Just, just look at the view that way. And like I said, the horses are right there. You got another opportunity. Look at them all. No, 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 no. I don't want to get in a fight. I'm in the mood today. Just passing through. Is that okay? I really do not want to get hit by a bull. That would suck. I don't know if these things are aggressive or not. I'm gonna 
try. If I end up on the evening news, you know why. I'm sure there's people that pass through here all the time, but just passing through. That's all. Oop, oop. Sorry, sorry. Moving quicker. Getting out of here. Ooh, this is this is slop. I'm stuck. Man, today is awesome. I just wanted to make sure I put this in here that not everything about this particular trip and most trips I go mountain biking. It's not just straightforward, nice downhills. Every once in a while you gotta get off and just Walk it up. Unless your legs are built like an ox. Mine aren't there yet. I can probably get on now, but yeah. Sometimes it's rough. Press trail. Your arrows are okay, so keep going that way, good. Appalachian Trail, Mount Rogers. So if I wanted to, man, I wish I could have. But if I could have, I would have hit Mount Rogers, knocked that one out of the park. But I mean, 400 feet ain't much. I mean, you look at the tallest peak in, I think it was Florida, it was only like 300 feet. So, man. It's nice out here. We'll continue up. I'm curious about a few things. If you're from this area, uh, do you get much snow up here? And if you do, do you do cross country skiing up here? Snowshoeing? Let me know. Just, I don't know if you get enough snow to do that stuff. The other question is, I don't know much about wild horses, but it seems like they have runways, much like deer do. I don't know if they typically stay on the same run the whole time, or it was just, they're so grouped together that they carve a good trail. Crest trail, okay, that's where I need to go, okay. Yeah, the signs are pretty good uh, indicating on where I need to go. This is cool. I think these rocks are pretty cool. Just the erosion from years of water coming off them. All right, time to hop back on. Figure out this thing is real quick. Overnight storage only. Oh, that's, man, these guys are doing a good job of. making sure people are prepared. That's pretty cool. I mean, hey, if I would've got the, thought about turning the camera on earlier, there was a person that I guess is camping out here. So yeah, this stuff hung from a tree, which is what you would do if you didn't have like a device like that. Do another trail check. So Christ Trail keeps going this way. But, yeah. I'll do what I've been doing. 
Don't you guys enjoy the sights out here? Which way do I want to point you? Do you want to look towards the mountains or do you want to look down that way? I think this side, this way is pretty cool. Actually, I'll put you on towards the ground. This time. Me taking my first, I guess, skinnier trail. Headed that way. Let's see what sights we can find. <coughs> oh, yeah, check out that view. You see that time to time. Actually, you see it quite a lot. But I don't mind it one bit. Into the trees. Oh, hopefully there wasn't a bee's nest in there. Alright. Here bees. So where is he gonna Man, I don't know if this is a mountain bike trail. I don't know, I feel like I documented the wrong trail. Good thing is I did bring my bag. And my bag has an extra chain, another tire tube. Hopefully I don't need to do that stuff while I'm out here, but in the event that I do, I have it. So I am gonna have the this trip that I did on all trails link below. But for sure, I highly recommend that you don't go this way. I missed the uh, made it airs when I picked out the route. I went off somebody else's uh, suggested route and I may have messed it up. I don't know, there's bike tracks right there. There's definitely bike tracks in front of me. I don't know. This is a little extreme for, for a bike, I'd say. <laughs> Unless some other person did the same thing I did. I mean, I'm picking up the bike just to make it through there. I'm sure there was definitely a different trail I could have taken. I think I can hop back on now. 
it's an interesting trail. And clearly it doesn't get much use. Navigating, navigating, recalculating. Up, down, whoop, quick stop. Some doggy tracks. Yeah, I'll find a Sam Squinch out here. This isn't too bad. Tight turn, tight turn. Going over. I'm out of it. But I have to say, if we're taking video of it, there's definitely, when you get to the mud puddles, you can definitely tell that other mountain bikes have been down it, so. We are just over six and a half miles in. And I've been going on for two hours and 40 minutes with taking my time. There's no rush on this one. Join the views and really trying not to hurt myself out here. I've only seen one person. So. It's also Thursday? All right, I think this is my left I gotta take. My sharp left. Ooh, that was close. That was really close. Whew. Oh, this is cool. God, I'm gonna be wet. Don't fall, don't fall, please don't fall. I just immediately soak her on the foot if I fall. Woo, good catch. Good catch, good catch. All right, so try and get back on the bike, I'll walk the rest of the way up. If you ever run out of water when you're up here, you got plenty of it. Just bring a good, um, I don't know, the thing I bought, I think it's called platypus. Maybe not a platypus, I don't know. Water purifier. It worked out pretty good when I hit up, when I hiked Mount Marcy. I used it quite a bit. Ooh, I stepped in water. Took a little bit of time to, for it to purify, but overall it worked out pretty good. Just kidding. I'd have to honestly say I'm surprised big time on how well this bike is holding up. I go through some of this stuff. If you hit the rock just right, it like flips up and like really takes this hole on the frame. This bike's gonna have a lot of scratches, a lot of paint missing by the time I get done with this trail. It's been like two or three miles since the last turn the camera on. This is pretty cool.
think I, did I take the path last time? I think I took the path last time. Or maybe I went through it. I'm taking the path this time. Here we go. Alright, see you back at the car.